between a dog and a person. If one had to, I'd always choose a dog. Uh, and I, so this, look at, this is Elsa. And uh, she's my, uh, one of my, uh, person I work with, uh, her dog, and we went to, Catherine's her mom, and we went to pick her up, uh, Strider and I, over there. Um, right. I guess eight and a half years ago, she just uh, she'd been brought up from a kill shelter in South Carolina, and actually my hometown in South Carolina. So I'm probably kin to her, some of my old dogs. And she is like a thousand different dogs. But, you know, you can see she's not, nothing about her would normally be savable for certain kinds of people, but she's fantastic beautiful creature and you know she was she was going to be killed and now she's the the opposite of dead and it's just you think about it you know people making designer dogs to sell versus all these living fabulous creatures that are just going to be put to death because people didn't have their dogs fixed or spayed and um it's it's weirdly tragic when you seriously think about it. It's tragic. Come here. Come up here. Come here. No. No, she's, you know, she would, she'd die a thousand deaths for me. My mother used to say there's like two kinds of people. There are people who speak dog and there are people who don't speak dog. And for me, it's like I grew, was born. It's almost like it's just you're born speaking dog. It's hard to explain to people who don't speak it what that means, but uh, they're just, it just takes you out of yourself to be with a dog because they're so pure. They don't care whether you're rich. They don't care whether you're beautiful. They don't care whether your house costs $400 a month. You know, and it's a basically a piece of crap. They don't, they, they just want to be with you. Life is better when you're with a dog. It's just for me, it's just better. And they're real. It's like being with a little child, like a two-year-old child. Yeah, I mean, they, they're trouble. You have to take them out, you know, all the time. This one rolled, we took went to the beach this morning. She rolled in something for sure. They don't care about the job. They just want to hang out with you. They don't care if some fancy photographer comes in. They don't, they don't, it's just another person, you know. Uh, and now we trained our dogs like Strider in the beginning. I, he was so tough. I'm not kidding. It's like, because my previous dog had been incredibly smart. She was a shepherd beagle mix. And so when we got him, you know, I mean, I told her one time, don't walk on a, on a backdrop. She never walked on it again. Strider, I, I thought, I thought for a while he was just going to think his, his name was, you know, like some string of curse words because all I did was curse at him because he could not figure it out. But then once they figure it out, usually it takes about two months, then they would never walk on a wet drop.